Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. You got a problem with that, Poozer? Finally, after years of Superman and Batman rehashes, remakes, redux, re-releases, what have you, finally another famous DC comic book character hits the big screen. And of course, I'm talking about Martin Campbell directed Green Lantern. Now, before I move on with this review, I just want to let you all know, I am a huge Green Lantern fan, so this is really all about me being my comic book nerd thingamajiggy. So, if you just want to see my verdict on this movie, and you don't want any spoilers, turn the video off now, and just go to the last part of this video to see exactly what I thought of this movie. Okay, moving right along. So, Green Lantern is a comic book character that I am really big on, and this was a movie that I was very excited for because DC has yet to give us a powerful comic book film franchise like Marvel. And pretty much, Green Lantern is the first of hopefully many more to come. So there was a lot riding on this movie, because if it was not going to be successful, there will probably be no Wonder Woman movie, there will probably be no Aquaman movie, there will probably be no Green Arrow, Flash, Justice League, what have you. So this movie was big. What did I think? Well, unfortunately, Green Lantern just squeaked by on total failure. So, there was a lot of negatives, but there were some positives, but let's just go over the negatives. We gotta talk about the acting first. Ryan Reynolds was pretty much playing his own Ryan Reynolds self. Started off as a wisecracker as the main character in this movie, Hal Jordan, but in the end, he does the whole, you know, with great power comes great responsibility shtick, and in the end he does become this serious guy that actually knows that he has a job and he wants to be the hero. Like all the other critics, I'm going to say the same thing. Blake was not lively as Carol Ferris. She flat out sucked. She was a bad choice. Ryan Reynolds, on the other hand, I would have liked to see Nathan Fillion or possibly Bradley Cooper fill his shoes, but Ryan Reynolds managed to pass on by. Blake Lively, so many more actresses you could have used. She was horrible. They never should have put her in this movie. Peter Skarsgård. Now, he plays the villain in this movie, Hector Hammond. He is, in fact, one of the comic book characters, and he is, in fact, one of Green Lantern's rogues gallery of villains, but... He really wasn't much of a villain. He was more of a pawn for a much bigger villain in this movie called Parallax. So he pretty much was this very creepy, lanky guy with a very big head just wandering around, acting weird and crazy and all that kind of crap. So, very bad job in uses of villains. And Mark Strong, who played Sinestro, he was fantastic because he was pretty much a complete image of Sinestro ripped from the comic books and put right onto the big screen. And even though he doesn't get enough screen time, even though he did a great job, that was the weak point. There was not enough screen time for Mark Strong. So he did great, but there should have been more of him. Now, before I move on, let's talk a little bit of Green Lantern 101. Green Lantern is not one guy. The Green Lantern Corps happens to be a gigantic intergalactic peacekeeping force. It is run by these little blue aliens with big heads called the Guardians, who basically are immortal and know everything that's going around in the universe, and they're trying to keep the peace. And they give their policemen, or their soldiers so to speak, these little green rings that are called power rings. And they have the ability to create whatever the holder thinks about, to use to fight against the forces of evil. So that's pretty much what Green Lanterns are. So, if you aren't a comic book fan of Green Lanterns, you're not really going to get this movie, and I think that was the biggest weakness. Because I don't think that this movie was really made for the general public. This movie was really made for the Green Lantern fans. 
Mind you, there are going to be some scenes where a Green Lantern fan will even find terrible, but they're going to like him a lot more than just the person who has never even seen or heard of Green Lantern. And the other thing is, this movie was just a filler. I mean, it had a great character development story, which is something you rarely see in a comic book film. It was big on laughs, but low on action. And it's all because, as I said, it's a filler. Because you are left on a monster cliffhanger, an awesome monster cliffhanger, I must say, that involves Sinestro, of course. And if you're a Green Lantern fan, you know who Sinestro already is. So... They basically just made this movie to tell the fans there's going to be a better one coming out, so just sit and enjoy this one for now. That was not the greatest thing to do, guys. And if you want DC to be a powerful film franchise, you unfortunately have to sell out a little bit. But I gotta still give you kudos for being very, very true to the comic characters. I'm expecting a very powerful sequel. It's already been, excuse the pun, greenlit. There are hopefully going to be a lot more Green Lanterns. There was a few fan favorites like Tomar Ree and Kilowog, who were voiced by Jeffrey Rush and Michael Clark Duncan, respectively, and they did a very good job. So they're definitely going to be back. But as a Green Lantern fan who's probably expecting to see a movie that takes place entirely in space, we all know who the villain is going to be. And I'd like to see more Green Lanterns like Boudicca. Chip, Aresia, Gallius. So for now, all I gotta say is my verdict on Green Lantern is it gets a modest, but hopeful 2.5 out of 4. I, as a Green Lantern fan, did enjoy it. I had fun with it. And when it comes out on DVD, you're damn right, I'm gonna buy it. Because I would love to see it again. So that's it, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. And the question that I want to leave with you guys today is... Ryan Reynolds was, in fact, in two other major comic books films. Can you tell me what they both were? You probably know one, but the other one might have to let you think a little bit. So I'm the Lawn Gnome, and remember, actions speak louder than words. Help me.